What is going on guys, it's Modern Warfare here and welcome back to another video. So in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up FTP on the PS4 so that you can wirelessly transfer files from your PS4 to your computer and from your computer to your PS4. Now this is done using the WebKit exploit so you need to make sure you have the WebKit exploit set up so you can access um, the PS4 WebKit Playground. If you haven't got that set up or you don't know what that is then a link uh, will appear in the top right hand corner of the screen to my tutorial on how to get the WebKit exploit set up and installed. So if you haven't got it already set up and installed, click that uh, link in the top right hand corner. It will also be linked in the description and you can watch that video and get all that set up. So once you have it set up, the first thing you need to do is get your PS4's IP address because you need to, in order to connect on FTP, you need to know what the IP address of the PS4 is. So head into the settings, scroll down to network, and then click on view connection status. So this will give you a bunch of uh, network configuration information on your PS4. And what you're looking for is the IP address, which you can see there is 192.168.137.231. Obviously, it will be different for your PS4. So just keep a note of that um, IP address in your head uh, so you can type that in to the computer when you want to connect through FTP. So that's 231. Uh, so then what you want to do is head on to user's guide. And if you've set up the WebKit exploit as per my tutorial, then it should take you to this page automatically rather than going to manuals.playstation.net. If it does take you to manuals.playstation.net, then you have to try and navigate out of that page and get onto Google and search for this IP address so that you can get onto the um, this PS4 start page. And from there, you can go to WebKit Playground. Now, unfortunately, this version of the WebKit Playground does not actually have the FTP feature, so we have to go to another um, another address to get to the version of WebKit Playground that actually has the FTP settings. So in order to do that, we'll head back onto User Guide and we can just search for a URL right here um, or go onto Google and search the URL through Google. So I'm going to search URL and what we're searching for is f-x um, and then it's .ps4 or .fr forward slash ps4. So that is the address you want to go on. You want to go to f-x.fr forward slash ps4 forward slash. Type that in and search and that will take you to the WebKit Playground version that has this FTP setting. And in here you just want to click the button to launch FTP and that will set that up. And that's it. Now all you have to do is go over to your computer and use some kind of FTP client like FileZilla or WinFTP something like that, um, or even Google Chrome has a built-in FTP you can access. Uh, you can access it within Google Chrome. So I'll go over to the computer and show you guys how to connect to the PS4 on the computer through FTP. Okay, so once you're on the computer, what you want to go ahead and do is start FileZilla or some other FTP client. And from there, you can type in the host name, username, password, and port in here, or you can create a new site by opening up the site manager clicking new site and I'm going to put PS4 um, for my new site and then for the host you want to put in the PS4's IP address which we noted was .231 and then the port normally an FTP port would be 21 but for some reason it's 1337 1337 hacksaws right there uh, for the login you're just going to put anonymous because the PS4 uh, the FTP settings on the PS4 is not set up with a username or password. So anybody, if they know the IP of your PS4 and they know the port, can access uh, the PS4's hard drive through through FTP, although they need to be on your local uh, area network, I believe. So that shouldn't be too much of a security issue. So just click OK, and then from the drop-down list, you'll now have PS4 that you can select, and it will connect you to the PS4. And that's it. We have access to the PS4's hard drive right here. So from in here, you can access something like, say if I wanted to copy a screenshot that I took on the PS4 and I wanna copy it to my um, my computer, then I can just head to user, AV contents, photo, and then in here, I've got a screenshot that I captured just of the, the home screen of the PS4, and I can just drag that in to my desktop and there we go, there's the screenshot I took on my PS4. I took it using the capture gallery and that's where your images are stored in the capture gallery. You can just drag that onto your computer. And then of course, if I had any videos as well that I took, maybe like some gameplay videos that I took 
um, on the PS4, then I could just go into the video folder and copy the videos over. I haven't taken uh, any captures of any videos, so I don't have any in that folder. But if you did, you would most likely have them showing up in here and you could just drag and drop them to your computer and play them on the computer. So that is basically how you get FTP set up. So normally you can access FTP servers on Google Chrome by entering in the URL bar FTP semicolon double slash and then the IP address of the FTP server, which in our case is the PS4, and then semicolon the port number, which is 1337. And normally that would connect to the FTP server. For some reason though, Google Chrome is not liking it, it's not connecting. It could be because there's no authentication. It might be that Google Chrome will refuse to connect to an FTP server if it doesn't have any authentication behind it, like a username or password. So that might be the reason. It could be to do with the port number. Maybe Google Chrome only connects to uh, port 21 if it's an FTP server. Uh, or maybe it's because I have internet connection sharing set up on my computer and it doesn't recognize that IP address because it's .137. I'm not sure um, what the reason is. It could be one, of, it's probably one of those reasons uh, why it's not connecting, but as you can see, it was connecting fine using FileZilla. And also Google Chrome's not a good um, FTP client to use because uh, it can only, or at least the last time I used it, it could only download um, files from the PS4's hard drive to your computer and you can't actually upload files from your computer to the PS4 uh, using Google Chrome. Um, but there are also, I think, FT FTP plugins that you can get for Google Chrome that will allow you to do that stuff um, as well. So it's up to you what you want to use, but that is basically how you can do that. So anyway, that is just a little video there on how you can set up FTP on the PS4 using the WebKit exploit. If you like this video, or you find the information useful, Go ahead and leave a like, leave a comment if you have any questions and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And I'll hopefully see you guys in the next video. Shuffling